varying single, that would be great. And if you could uh, do mostly twos. Okay. Unless I start swaying profusely, then go for the 60 minutes close up, if you would. <laughs> <laughs> Once you yeah. start sweating. <laughs> Okay, so don't go like, the, all right. Yeah, don't do that. All right, <laughs> uh, we got speed? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, John, I'm always fascinated when American movies are released in foreign markets, the, the little things that uh, happen. Now, what kind of subtle changes have happened to the first Toy Story film when, they were, when it was released in foreign markets? You know, it's interesting, with, with our films, they're, they're dubbed in like 35, 36 languages. And I've seen it in many, many, many different languages. And, 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 and certain, uh, you know, some of our humor is very American. And so they, 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 they had to change some of, um, you know, some of the jokes, but they, they find some things. But, you know, what's, what's really fun is to look up there and to see our characters speaking in all these different languages. And Disney does such a great job with the translation, and it's really fun. But, but through our experience, our next films, you know, Bugs Life and Toy Story 2, we've tried to make... Um, you know, play a little stronger, a little more international, you know, because we know the, gr the international market is a huge growing market. And so, in fact, there's one scene in Toy Story 2 where there's an American flag fluttering yeah. behind Buzz Lightyear. We've created a whole different version for the foreign market, which is just a globe spinning. Ah. So we think ahead to, to how certain things are going to be very American. Yeah. We leave it very American, but then we'll tweak it for the international version. Now, getting permission to use, you know, registered trademark toys mm -hmm. the first time as opposed to the second time. Oh. The first time, like, you know, Mr. Potato Head. I mean, did you have problems getting the permission for some of these? Um, in the first Toy Story, um, you know, we contacted, there was a whole bunch of toys that we wanted to put in there. And we contacted all the toy makers. And most of them were like, oh, sure, sure. They didn't think much of it. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And Hasbro, who makes uh, Mr. Potato Head, you know, they were, well, how are you going to do it? Okay, okay. They, they, were, they said, they relented and said, okay. Um, but it's been huge for them. Mr. Potato Head, you could barely find one before Toy Story came out. And now he's like an, uh, an icon. You know, Don Rickles' brilliant performance has made it great. And I, and I love that. And so one of the toys that we could not use was Barbie in the first one. Well, well, Mattel, well, Mattel was, was uh, you know, they said, hey, you know, if you're doing another one, you know, you can use Barbie if you want to, and, and boy, did we. <laughs> it was a strangely exciting scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. You found that scene exciting. Should we talk about that? Oh, let's not. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, the, uh, the jingle from the old 50s, uh, you know, news or TV show, I mean, it was so well done, like an authentic type. I mean, how uh -huh. difficult was it to get that down? You know, um, we went to Randy Newman who did the, the music um, for, for Toy Story 2, as he did for, for the first Toy Story. He said, Randy, we, we want to do a, um, a TV show theme song, kind of like Gilligan's Island or something like that, where they introduce the characters. You know? but, but it needs to sound like 50s. And he wrote it like very quickly. He wrote this hilarious song for a kid's TV show. And we found this great group out of Nashville called Writers in the Sky, who does absolutely authentic sounding cowboy music, like Gene Autry, Roy Rogers kind of authentic. And so we you know, had this great song and had them sing it, and it was just like perfect. It was really fun. Now, you also got Tom Hanks to sing in this. Now, how difficult was it to convince him to do that? Well, we asked him. You know, and when we did the first movie, of course, all Disney films were musicals at the time. Toy Story was one of the first Disney animated films that didn't have the characters break out in song. And so he was like at the beginning, I, okay, I don't sing, I don't sing, I don't want to sing. And so when we came to the second movie, and, and there was this moment where, where the, the, the Woody character on the TV show sings, You've Got a Friend in Me. And Tom said, sure, he'd do it, you know. But we had to clear the set. We had to, you know. I mean, no, I'm just kidding, but, but he, he did a great job. He did a great job. He was a little nervous about it, but he did a great job. And one of the nice things is it's kind of a campy TV show. Yeah. So if he was, I said, Tom, if you're, you know, out of tune or off key, it doesn't matter. It's Woody singing. That's what people want to hear. And last question, you know, with every animated film now, there's always somebody that comes out with one frame of video, say, oh, there's something they snuck here in this one frame. I think some of it's imagined, some of it's real. but. Uh, has anyone ever tried to sneak something past you 
on one of your movies, and and have you ever just had to police? Uh... Oh well, we are we're very conscious of that. Um, we we put a lot of fun in jokes all through our movies, but you know everybody at Pixar is very very aware of of how these films how they're seen in the world and how, how, how big they become and how important they are to kids. And so we really respect that and we don't, you know, we don't ever have to worry about that. But there was an awful lot of fun in jokes. Uh, somewhere in Toy Story 2, you will see Heimlich, the caterpillar from Bugs Life. And then they go through the Toy Story, you know, and in the background on one, one, one shot, there's a whole rack full of, toy, of, of a Bugs Life toys. You know, and so we have a lot. And Andy has a Bugs Life calendar on the wall in his room. We just keep listing them. There's tons of in jokes. Okay, great, good stuff. Thanks very much. Yeah. yeah.